I just kind of want to enjoy it. I don't want to be stressed out. I don't want to worry about all the things I need to get done because I know on the broad spectrum of things, it doesn't matter. You know, like it just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> She's going to get here and we're going to be in a new season of life. Hey guys. Ah, I'm filming from my van right now. I'm parked. But I am outside of my appointment for my 35 week checkup. And I actually, like, I have a couple minutes before I gotta go in. And so I wanted to just kind of say hi and update you guys um, just on how life's been, how this pregnancy's been. I feel so bad because I just have not done a ton of pregnancy. Well, I haven't done barely any. I've done like two <laughs> pregnancy videos, but as I'm sitting here, my face is feeling fuller. My lips are feeling fuller, um, which to me, this happens at the end of my pregnancy. So as I'm feeling this, I'm going, oh my gosh, I haven't vlogged and I'm at the end of my pregnancy. <laughs> so I wanted to just jump on here super quick and, um, just kind of film a little video today, super nonchalant. The kids are with a babysitter um, right now, and so I'm at my appointment. I've got my strep B test today. Things have been going really good. I've been having a ton of round ligament pains in like my, on my sides, um, kind of down by my pelvic area, maybe a little bit below, above my pelvic area on my sides. Just I can feel like everything kind of spreading open and whew, it just it's been really hurting me like driving today I don't remember having these with my other pregnancies like I remember kind of like sometimes I'd be laying in bed and if I'd move fast then I would get like a little pain or a little pull but I'm getting it all the time now I'm walking and it hurts I haven't found any more stretch marks but I definitely feel like I'm stretching inside <laughs> So, um, Ingrid is moving so much, you guys. She moves all the time. She kicks and uh, responds to me touching my belly or Fiona talking to her, the kids talking to her. She's super responsive. She's very busy. And I'm just so excited to see her. Like, I just am so excited. I talk to her a lot and um, I feel pretty connected to her. So, I'm excited for her to be born and to actually like see her face to face and meet her for the first time. As far as any other pregnancy symptoms go, I've been having a ton of heartburn lately, you guys. Heartburn has been wicked lately. Restless legs at nighttime has been hard and then insomnia. So I've been like moving from one side, then rolling to the other side and then like stretching my legs and then having heartburn in between that but trying not to move too much because I'm having round ligament pain. <laughs> so it's been interesting. It's been kind of a ride, um, but it's been really good though. It's just been so busy. Like I'm homeschooling my kids now, trying to figure out what that looks like and they're still super little. So this is our first year like officially homeschooling. Fiona's in kindergarten and um, Ezra's kind of doing stuff along with her right now. He's three, almost four. And so trying to figure out like what that looks like. And then, you know, like my ideas of what like my curriculum would look like, what my schedule would look like, is just changing and evolving based on what my kids need, which is normal and that's a huge blessing of homeschooling. But trying to figure that out. I haven't packed my hospital bag yet. I just feel like, Ah, like I'm really excited to see her. I'm excited for her to be born because I know it's going to be here before I know it. But I'm also 35 weeks, so I'm like, okay, I have five weeks left to like do all these things. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go into my appointment um, and then I will kind of do a little update once I get out of my appointment to let you guys know how everything went and then maybe touch um, a little bit more on this pregnancy so yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit hey guys I just got back from my appointment everything went normal at my appointment nothing crazy I didn't expect anything crazy um, she said I'm measuring right at 35 weeks and there's not anything crazy going on so I'm gonna um, answer a few questions I asked if any of you guys had questions on Instagram um, so I'm gonna have to kind of like go back and forth because I'm filming on my phone right now kind of spur of the moment um, and my Instagram is on my phone too so I do remember looking through my Instagram questions and um, one of the first questions that I got was 
do I plan on doing anything differently this birth, um, planning on doing anything differently um, this birth than I did with my others? And I an did answer that similar question in my last pregnancy update video or my Q&A video for pregnancy. Um, I don't plan on doing anything differently. In my last birth with Jude, I had worship and soaking music playing and it was just very peaceful and calm and I kind of was just like meditating and focusing um, on what I was doing and when I labor, I labor, I'm very quiet. I kind of like go inside of this bubble <laughs> and I kind of focus on what I'm doing and my breathing and um, and in my last one, I really focused on just praying and um, and listening to worship music. So I plan on doing that again this time. Okay, so I got a question on baby buys. And I haven't done like a ton of baby buys for this baby. It's hard because the, the girl that asked this on my Instagram, um, she's on her fourth as well. And so she had said that everything from her third from her first three pregnancies is pretty hit now because it's gone through three kids but yeah this is probably their last baby so she doesn't want to buy new stuff and I totally relate to that most of our stuff like we our swing all of that stuff went through three babies real quick and then toddlers jumping on it and it's just like it's it's hit and so I agree most of the stuff that I got as far as like our swing our bouncer was all secondhand from friends um, I did not purchase new that stuff because I just didn't for me personally like we live on a budget and so I'm not gonna buy a brand new $200 baby swing when this is my last baby you know I did purchase like some headbands I purchased some really cute bonnets that actually are gonna be coming today um, and some blankets I am getting um a really nice Moses basket which is like a bassinet um, that I'm actually partnering with a woman on Etsy for so she's gonna send it to me which is a huge blessing um, to share with you guys on my channel so I'm really excited about getting something like that for Ingrid we've gotten like little bits and bobs but nothing crazy I haven't had any huge purchases our car seat that we had for Jew we bought new and so it's only two years old now and um, so we can use that for Ingrid. I did get some new slings uh, earlier this year that I had traded old ones that I gotten and I used some birthday money for some new slings for her. Okay Carol who is um, one of my faithful followers on Instagram. I love her. I love reading your comments girl. I love connecting with you. She asked how can we pray for you? Um, I don't know. I would just ask for peace over these next few weeks. Um, I just want to enjoy this time. I know it's gonna go by so fast. I know I'm gonna blink and I'm gonna have four kids that are here, um, Earthside, and so I just, I just kind of want to enjoy it. I don't want to be stressed out. I don't want to worry about all the things I need to get done because I know on the broad spectrum of things, it doesn't matter. You know, like it just, it doesn't matter. <laughs> She's gonna get here and we're gonna be in a new season of life. So I just would like some peace if you can pray for that for me. And then of course over her labor and delivery um, and her safety for sure and mine as well. Any last minute ways that I'm prepping for baby? Not really. Um, I made a big pot of chicken chili yesterday with the intention of freezing about half of it just to put in the um, freezer as an easy meal. I picked up a freezer meal the other day to throw in our freezer. Um, our church, I'm so blessed, they do meals for like the first week. After a baby's born, they'll bring you meals, which they bring so many meals, you can like freeze some of them. It's so, so nice, such a huge blessing. My family helps with meals too. Um, but I do like having like meals in my freezer and stuff because even after like the first week or two of healing, then like life gets real. And it, I feel like it's almost even harder. <laughs> Does that make sense? Do you guys agree? Because um, it's just like life gets real, you know? The baby's sleeping less as the weeks go by, and so it's just nice to have backup in your freezer. So that's what I've done. Nothing crazy, just like as I've thought about it, I was at the grocery store, and I'm like, oh, I'll pick up a freezer meal. Oh, I'll make a thing of chili and I can freeze half of it. I did get her car seat in right there, which is exciting and kind of terrifying because I actually can see now that I'm going to have four, four car seats back there. What else did I get? I got a question on our, oh, on how I knew that this was our last baby and how I was feeling about that. I, I did answer this in a last video but I don't feel like I have a solidified feeling inside of me that I'm never gonna have another child. 
but I also feel like I don't want to be pregnant again and I feel like four kids is enough for our family and I, I want to be able to take care of them I want to be able to give them individual time and attention um, and pour into them so so yeah all right I have a question um, for what is like our, our setup for Ingrid right now and she's gonna be in our room we have a three-bedroom house so my boys are in one room Fiona's in the other and then John and I have our own room so Ingrid will be with us I have a rock and play um, from Jude but I am planning on like I said I'm planning on getting a Moses basket from um, an incredible lady on Etsy that I'll share with you guys when I get that but yeah that's kind of like what our setup is I have um, like a four cubed area from like a four cubed shelf thingy from Target um, and one of those cubes has a bunch of diapers and stuff for her. I have um, a little area in my room with her clothes. So we're kind of like, we're rooming together. I room with my babies for the first year plus. <laughs> so that's kind of what that looks like. All right, so I've, so I've got two more questions um, that I'll answer. The first one is my favorite nursing bras and my favorite nursing bras are still the Bravado nursing bras. I was an ambassador for them for my last two pregnancies, so I got bras for free, which was such a blessing. But their Body Silk Seamless Nursing Bra, I think it is, was my favorite. It's like a t-shirt bra, but it has amazing lift and support, um, good coverage. It's not like a push-up bra or anything. Um, it's super, com like super, super comfortable with amazing support. So if I do need more bras or another bra, I will definitely be going through Bravado again. Um, even though I'm, I don't think I'm an ambassador for them anymore, I will still be because they are my ultimate favorite bra and I have tried so many bras. <laughs> my last question that I got was, did I keep girly stuff from Fiona to um, pass on to Ingrid or did I have to get new stuff? And I did have clothes from Fiona, but it's funny, like even five and a half years ago, the stuff that I put Fiona in, I don't really think I'd put Ingrid in. <laughs> so it was like going through a lot of clothes and I'm like, Meh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have her wear that. I, fun fact, used to, I had an Etsy business and I used to do, um, headbands for babies and even the headbands that I made for Fiona I just I feel like I'm wanting to do different stuff for Ingrid this time so in short no I'm not keeping a lot of Fiona's girly stuff um, there's a couple outfits a couple sleepers that I kept of fees that I liked that were a little sentimental but other than that I got a couple um, I went through bling bows I think bling bows and then I have a subscription to little poppy co which is $10 a month and they send you three sweet little bows for your baby girl. It's been fun to buy girl stuff. I haven't gone too crazy. I've had a lot of people pass down clothes to me that are like beautiful condition. I've got a bunch of clothes from Thread Up for her. And um, so that's been really awesome. Great deals and being able to partner with them. All right guys, so those are the questions um, that I got on Instagram. I'm sure I probably will be having more later today, but this is what I've got right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, it was nice being able to just take some time and focus on Ingrid and on this pregnancy. So I will talk to you guys later. Love you, bye.